Association of Judicial Service and the people of Ghana to giving us the opportunity to strengthen the bonds of friendship between our two nations. We have listened to very important conversation today uh, from the speakers ahead of me. And I want to share some perspective from Pakistan. Like Ghana, Pakistan is a developing country with huge potential, which can be realized only through the equal participation and empowerment of women. We are totally cognizant of this fact and therefore have worked diligently for the promotion and protection of rights of women. With the strong determination of the people of Pakistan and political will, we have been able to cope with most of the daunting challenges faced in different areas related to women's rights. We are guided by our constitution and democratic institutions, free media, independent judiciary, vibrant civil society in our endeavors to promote and protect the human rights, especially the rights of women. Ladies and gentlemen, woman is a respectable personality and undoubtedly lays the foundation of a solid society as a mother, as a wife, as a sister, and as a daughter. While playing this role, she is free and fully capable of contributing to the development of society through its role in different professions. Islam gives equal status to men and women. According to um, the constitution of Pakistan also, and also Ghana, there is no discrimination between men and women. In Pakistan, we are working hard to overcome the developing development challenges such as poverty, unemployment, health, inflation, and education. These challenges hamper the easy access of benefits of development uh, distributed among different segments of the society, including women. Therefore, in order to share the benefits of development equally, including with women, our government has done specific legislation to protect women's rights and encourage them to be mainstreamed in the active workforce. We have taken administrative measures to integrate them and raise their status. Some of these include allocation of quotas for women representation in the parliament and in all government jobs. There are systems in place to protect them from any type of harassment at work and to enable them to raise their families while carrying on their uh, official responsibilities. As a result of these measures, the ratio of women in the active life have increased over decades. Now Pakistani women are serving in all professions, including the non-traditional professions. They have served uh, in politics and currently there are 33% women represented in the parliament of Pakistan. The first Muslim elected woman prime minister in the Islamic world was Pakistani prime minister Benazir Bhutto back in 1988. Since then, we have seen the woman serving as the foreign minister, as the speaker of parliament, and in uh, active parliamentary role. In addition, they are serving as doctors and engineers and in non-traditional professions like aviation, armed forces, including the fighter pilots. The biggest element that makes all this happen is education and confidence in your capabilities. I will repeat these words especially for attention of my sisters sitting here, that all this that can raise your profile is education and confidence in your own capabilities. I would plead 
my brothers that you should you have a role to encourage and facilitate your women sisters wives or daughters to seek knowledge and uh, get education as per their uh, capabilities and capacities with my presence here i am here to strengthen the bond of friendship between our two countries and to appreciate the role played by women in the society of ghana and to appreciate the illustrious women who are serving in notable positions that i have seen them this role of mainstreaming women and bringing gender parity is a collective role it has to have the ownership of the society so uh, finally i wish and pray that the women in our societies may grow together our nations may prosper together and be among the front runners in the story of development of humankind i thank you very much for inviting me among you